Today, we're gonna make shark ramen. <laughs> and I'm actually really excited about this video uh, because one, I wasn't going to make it, uh, and then I actually just made this dish literally 30 minutes ago and it was so amazing. I was like, you know what, I gotta put this on film. Uh, so I just caught this shark today. That's a hell of it. Yeah, that's a hell of it. <laughs> oh no, that's a shark. That is a shark. Oh shit. That is a shark. <laughs> you want to cut off the head and then check this out. Man, that is so cool. There are live baby sharks inside this. As you can see, it was fresh, a strong female. Uh, with a bunch of little sharks in them. Uh, baby shark, kind of like the song. Uh, and so let me show you what those look like. Right here, we got we got a ton of baby sharks that came out of the mama shark. And these are actually the eggs. And I boiled them up just like you would with chicken eggs uh, to kind of preserve them, make them last longer. And it, it worked really well. It pretty much tastes like chicken eggs. Uh, so I'm really happy with the way those turned out. And I, I definitely want to get more because being in Alaska, the chicken eggs are actually kind of expensive, but these shark eggs, you know, they're, they're coming out of the ocean. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do um, with this shark meat is to cut it up and, and to fry it up. And so I'm going to turn on my pan here. Uh, and like I said, this is kind of spur of the moment, so all I got is vegetable oil. There's no problem at all. Put it in the trusty cast iron here. Ooh, that's gonna be good. We want to cut this shark meat. You can take a look at that. It's a beautiful white flesh, uh, and it's got that cartilage backbone in it. Um, and it's really easy uh, to do. And the way I cut it, it's like I'm cutting, um, not like medallions, basically. Uh, about half an inch thick. You just cut all the way through that. And you can feel it's crazy. This, this animal's been dead for hours now. And when I cut through the backbone, the muscle actually flexes as if, it's, as, if, <laughs> as if it is still alive. It's really cool. Okay. And this is, there's a ton of meat on this animal. And now you notice I skinned it. And that's really important. The first thing you want to do with a shark is actually take the skin off because the skin acts as it's urinary tract. And if you leave the skin on a shark, um, that ammonia taste will actually leach into the meat. Uh, but 
I got the skin off in time and I'm left with this beautiful, beautiful hunk of meat. And uh, it's, you guys are gonna see, it's really good. And then just rinse this off uh, just to get any of the sand or dirt off. You can kind of take a look at this beautiful white medallion look that it's got going on it. So while I wait for that oil to heat up, it looks like it is just about heated up. Uh, I'm going to start doing the second part of this, which is the ramen. Uh, and ramen is basically top ramen. Now I got some beef lying around. So I'm going to use that. The best part about cooking, especially animals that you, that you catch yourself, is just cooking with what you got in your kitchen. And I always got ramen. You know, a lot of, a lot of you might be wondering, hey, how come you're throwing in uh, the water and the noodles at the same time? The water's not even hot. I actually like to boil the noodles with the water. It actually cooks them faster because they're softening up even if the water is cold. It's a little trick I learned when I was backpacking. All right, we'll turn that heat on and we'll let that water warm up. And now we're gonna throw these medallions onto the oil. Oh yeah. And then put a little salt, pepper on top of them. A little salt, a little pepper. Oh yeah, that's really good. Cook one side of the meat and then the other side, we wanna get it just a little bit crispy uh, and that will help the meat fall right off of that vertebrae. Oh, I got this ramen on a high. Uh, and this is another thing I'm gonna do a little bit earlier that a lot of people do. I'm actually gonna throw in the bouillon flavoring right away. And that's just to help the noodles soak up the flavor that much faster. And now, here's the special part. You take some of these baby sharks. By the way, these baby sharks have only been eating the egg sacs that are also cooked. So there's nothing in their stomach. You can eat them whole. Uh, it's all cartilage, it's delicious. I'm gonna throw those in right now. I'm gonna put three in. And the reason I'm throwing those in early is kind of help the broth get a nice fishy flavor to it, a nice fresh baby shark. And of course, let's throw in a couple shark eggs too while we're at it. And that's good. Uh, and then I throw in some taco seasoning. And that helps bring out whatever flavors that are in the baby shark and the eggs into the noodles. Now, we're gonna flip these medallions over. Ooh. And the noodles are already starting to soften up. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want it to do. And you can tell this is actually a really fast meal. Uh, so if you do find yourself catching shark on the beach, well, it's easy to cook. Cooks really fast. <laughs> really delicious too. Put a little salt on it. There we go. And of course a little pepper. Salt and pepper makes everything taste better. And take a medallion and you just throw that into the ramen. Just with everything else. And that again, that's gonna help the flavor of the stew. And you'll notice I'm throwing everything into the ramen and that's on purpose. That's to bring out all the flavors into a beautiful fishy soup. Oh yeah, this is starting to cook up. And what we're waiting for at this point is the baby shark to cook all the way through. And the baby shark cooks all the way through very quickly. We just gotta bring it up to a boil for a couple of minutes. You can see how these baby sharks look. They're soft, but look at that. The head's already starting to fall off. And that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for those baby sharks to start falling apart, start to become the soup. And that's when you know the soup's done, ready to eat. We'll turn that off and let it cool down before we take a bite. Of course, if you have any hot sauce lying around, I like to go with the Tapatio packets. Um, they're just some leftover sauce I had. But add a little hot sauce, brings out a lot of flavor, and it's really good inside this ramen shark soup. So you need a spoon. Oh yeah. So first, of course, 
We got a little baby shark tail there. Mmm. Soft. Delicate. It's very good. And then, this right here. This is the shark egg. Mmm. It's, it's like eating a yolk. The same exact consistency. The same, same thing as a chicken egg. And then, this is a big chunk of the, the shark medallion. Mmm. A prime cut of meat. For sure. And then the broth, of course, basic ramen with all the fishy flavors baked into it. And this is so fresh. I, I hesitate to say the word fishy. It's just, it tastes like you're just eating sustenance. It's delicious, tender, soft, fresh, and it's good. So if you guys are, are catching dogfish, uh, specifically, th this is a spiny dogfish, but a lot of guys just throw them back in the ocean. If you're catching them, why don't you keep one, give it a go, it's delicious. If you like that video, go ahead and subscribe, share, like. That's going to be a ton more content on the way.